I'm sure y'all will recognize this laptop. It was the one I featured on my 17th birthday video. Right now, this machine's running Windows 8.1, and I've gotten rather annoyed of how 8.1 separates tablet and laptop modes, so we're gonna change that. First, we make sure that the BIOS is UEFI mode, then we scroll down to check secure root state, unsupported. Normally, this would be an issue, but not for me and my professional hacking skills. You saw the title of this video. We are going to install Windows 11 on an unsupported 2-in-1. This is the journey from start to finish. So, first things first, insert the USB and access the boot options. To access the boot menu on Lenovo's of this age, press the Think Vantage button on the start screen, and then press F12. You can ignore this screen and let it time out. Once here, select the USB, in this case it's a SanDisk Cruiser, and you should boot right into the install menu. To give you an idea of the specs while we wait for the installer to load up, this Lenovo ThinkPad X220T runs on a Core i5-2520M. Being a second generation Intel, it does not support TPM 2.0 or Secure Boot. Under normal circumstances, Windows 11 would refuse to install. This is what I'm going to find out right now. Trying to install the system like I would any other Windows system. After a long wait, we are now at the initial setup screen. The logo here is the one for Windows 11. But when I click the next button, the logo reverts back to the Windows 10 logo. And this is the vanilla installer, by the way. I'm fully expecting this to not... Uh... I was genuinely surprised by that. I was expecting the installer to fail before we even got past the product key section. But anyway... That is what I, exactly what I expected to see. I went on to the BIOS to make sure that everything is set up correctly. I know this looks like the BIOS, but this is really a UEFI system. It's just that the UI looks something straight out of MS-DOS. I scoured every UEFI setting and made sure everything was as I wanted it. Then I rebooted back into Windows 8.1 to do my first registry hacks. I'm also constantly scrolling on my phone and following instructions that I found. To do these registry hacks, I go to H key locomotine, system, setup, and then add a new key called lab config. Then I have to create two 32-bit D word values. The first one is called bypass TPM check, which does exactly what it says on the TAM. Same thing with secure boot check, completely bypasses those two requirements. Set both of them to 1, and I'm good to go. Right back into the installer I go, to try this again. There's the logo. Spinning dots. Setup. Now, did these registry hacks work, or not? Nope. Still stuck at this can't run Windows 11 screen. I decided to set the whole system to UEFI only mode. This prevents legacy booting, but this also means I have to reformat the USB. So popping it into my gaming rig and waking up the machine, I opened up Rufus and reformatted the drive with the Windows 11 ISO as a GPT partition scheme instead of MBR. MBR is BIOS or UEFI mode, but GPT is UEFI only. Formatting begins now. We jump cut back to the laptop, and I try again. This time it's in UEFI only mode. My theory here is that the legacy boot options was messing things up with setup. Nope. Still stuck. It was getting late, so I decided to sleep on the project. The next morning, things got serious. I created a hybrid installer by downloading a Windows 10 ISO and copying install.wim from the 11 ISO to the 10 ISO. 
and so, armed with a glass of milk, I resumed work on this project. I was much more confident with this hybrid install method than previous methods. Booting into the USB, time to find out if this worked. Did you see that? Let me play that back. The Windows 10 logo showed up for a split second. Normally that's cause for alarm, but for me, it was a sign. Did I do it? Did I finally crack the code of Windows 11? One thing's for sure, I'm going to need to get an SSD on this thing. It took a long time before I saw the Windows 10 logo. Now one question remains, will the installer work? The logo disappeared and we are now in the setup process with the Windows 10 logo. I was really excited. Did I actually pull this off? I should have clicked on Pro Edition because this is a pro laptop. It's the EULA! I've never been so happy to see a document I never read. But now, Sugar95's Windows XP Setup Remix.
I did it. I installed Windows 11 on an unsupported 2-in-1 laptop. I would like to thank Zachary Wander from XDA Developers for making this possible. Until next time, thanks for watching.